crafted by lamination master carvers. The spirit of the water's totem pole traveled more than 4,000 kilometers through the U.S. states of Idaho, Oregon, and Washington to raise awareness about declining numbers of salmon. Lamy woodcarver Douglas James. We'll see the salmon disappear in the next 10 years. They'll be gone if we don't step up and do something to re remove them dams so they can get to their natural spawning grounds. Those natural spawning grounds are behind four Lower Snake River dams in Washington state. A draft report by the White House Council on Environmental Quality says breaching them is essential to salmon migration. That could cost more than $10 billion and would eliminate hydroelectric turbines that generate 4% of the region's energy. The Northwest Energy Coalition includes environmental and civic groups, along with utilities and businesses in the U.S. and British Columbia. Coalition Executive Director Nancy Hirsch says the dam's hydroelectric output is important but replaceable. The potential to grow our uh, renewable energy base beyond and build on the foundation of the hydropower system with the next generation of renewable energy resources um, is great. Dam supporters argue renewable energy and irrigation for local farms do not conflict with salmon welfare. Congressman Dan Newhouse introduced legislation to protect the dams. The dams and the salmon can coexist. Uh, we, we invest a lot of time and money and effort and resources uh, to, to make that happen. We have for many, many years, and, and those investments are paying off. It, to me, that says very clearly that the, the dams are, are not the problem. Existing conservation investments include fish ladders to help migrating salmon get over the dams and fish hatcheries to boost their numbers. Ace Trump manages the hatchery at Lions Ferry. We collect adults and bring them back here to spawn and then as the females are ripe we'll take the eggs and we'll fertilize from the males and then we will uh, incubate the eggs, we'll hatch them out and then bring them outside and start feeding them. A dam on the Elwa River was removed 10 years ago. Today, the river flows unimpeded from the Olympic Mountains to the Strait of Juan de Fuca, with salmon numbers rising and local indigenous communities helping to replant vegetation. 